back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you're new here, hi, I'm Zara, hanging around here on YouTube to do content around sustainability and mindful lifestyle, upcycling and DIYing. And I'm so happy that you found me and my baby channel. So welcome. Today I want to do some cute jewelry because here it started to snow again and I'm in desperate need for some spring vibes. So I thought maybe some cute dainty little jewelry could help me get over my winter blues, so fingers crossed. And um, I also have an exciting announcement today because I recently hit 100 subscribers and I want to celebrate this um, by doing a little giveaway and I know what you're thinking right now. She crazy? She's serious? 100 subscriber? Um, and yeah, maybe I'm crazy, but my, I'm probably I am. But I'm sure so also serious because um, I think in our daily lives we put ourselves under so much pressure and we push ourselves so hard to reach certain goals and to be better than others or to be exactly like others. And um, to me, I personally, I want to change that mindset and I really want to um, celebrate the small achievements or the small steps and yeah the journey um and not just the day when i reach my goal um i set myself so yes i will be celebrating 100 subscriber and um i will be giving away some of the jewelry i'm doing today and if you want to enter the giveaway make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also head over to my instagram account and make sure to follow me and um, the in-depth description on how you can enter the giveaway will be in the description box as well as on my Instagram channel because you will enter the giveaway on my Instagram channel. So um, for now, I wish you good luck and um, have fun with this video. Before we get started, I wanted to make a quick recommendation because if you want to make your own jewelry, I'd really recommend getting a pair of pliers. I myself got this multi-tool plier I guess. It's three in one. It was way more affordable than a whole set of pliers and it's super practical and handy. Um, and yeah, I started actually by um, cutting old jewelry into pieces and uh, basically deconstructing it and saving all the pieces I thought I could reuse. So all the beads and all the wires and everything and I'm doing this all the time. I'm always creating new jewelry and then I'm, <laughs> I'm going in and upcycle it again. And um, yeah, I didn't mention it in the intro, but all my pearls I'm using today are actually upcycled. They're from old jewelry I had, as well as from my grandmother and my mother. Um, so yeah. Um, this was just important to me to mention, um, but I'm not judging anyone, so you do you, um, yeah. And I literally meant what I said, yes, I'm keeping every single piece and actually this wire I'm using later to make an ear cuff. And again, all the pearls I'm using in this video are upcycled and this is why there's a whole wide bunch of different kind of pearls, even um, fake pearls, so yeah. And actually the first piece I'm making is a pearl ring and I cut my nylon thread. And please always make sure to um, cut a piece that's long enough, um, been there, done that, you don't want to end with a thread that's too short in the end. Um, and here I'm just basically threading some rice pearls um, to create this cute little ring to go around your pinky finger. And I finished this super quickie project by making some knots. I think I did four in total. And what you want to do is really pull the thread tight and um, all you have to do is cut off the excess thread and your ring is done. And 
And for the next ring, I'm using one big pearl in the middle of my finger, as well as um, cute baby blue seed beads. And yeah, again, I'm cutting my thread and um, start threading the pearls onto my thread. Yeah, it's super easy, um, really. And as you can see here, um, I think, to me at least, the best technique is to just put some pearls onto your finger. Um, I always have quite clammy hands, so <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, yeah, I, I always have clammy hands, so the pearls stick perfectly to my, <laughs> to my hands. And then just push with the tip of your thread um, the pearls and they will pop onto your thread. And yeah, afterwards, um, after I was finished, I again just went in, had a look and checked if the size was okay. And I finished the ring again with some double knots and basically that's it for this ring. So the next ring will be a bit more complicated because I will be doing a cute little daisy ring and I really tried everything to get it on camera and I hope I didn't fail, um, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, first of all I'm using a crimp tube uh, or for my German followers I'm using a Quetschöse <laughs> and yeah, I'm taking my crimp tube and thread it onto my thread and then I'm taking my pliers and squeeze the crimp tube carefully. And what this is doing, it's preventing your beads from slipping um, off your thread. And then I started to thread my yellow seed beads onto the thread. And after that, what I did was I used five white petal beads, as well as one bead for the center color, which is a little um, rice pearl in this case. As you can see here, I'm threading it on and after that I'm using my thread and I'm going back through the last um, white petal bead and I'm pulling my thread and this creates the first half of our daisy. After that I took four more petal beads. So the first time I used five and here I'm using four, this is important, and um, I'm taking my thread and I'm going back through the first pearl next to the center color or the center middle pearl and I'm pulling my thread and yeah, this is creating a cute daisy as you can see here. After that I finished the rest of my ring, removed the crimp tube and yeah, made some double knots to um, finish my ring. Next up are earrings and for this pair I'm using upcycled old um, ear studs and um, yeah, I'm using here a double thread technique. I, I Actually, I don't know, I, I think I can't call this a technique, it's not that I learned it somewhere, but um, I'm using a double thread and I'm just um, putting my thread through the hole in the ear stud and um, yeah, bring both ends to the same length and after that I just randomly threaded different kind of pearls and seed beads onto my thread and yeah that's basically it. I see this kind of jewelry, this DIY jewelry all the time on my Instagram board and I swear you guys I will never ever in my life get tired of the DIY jewelry. Um, I think it's just the cutest thing and I love it so much and yeah, this is what my earring looks so far and from time to time I went in to check on the length, um, yeah, it looked good to me. And after that, <laughs> I think I just put on some more pearls and seed beads and I finished the earring off by using a tiny little golden seed bead. I put it onto both threads. As you can see here, and then what I did was I took my bead back and threaded both ends of my threads 
through um, the last pearl, as you can see here. And yeah, so this is basically <laughs> the way I finish off my earring, because now I can just make a double knot um, with both of my thread ends and you're safe. After I finished my earring, I thought that a matching ear cuff would be so cute, so I used the wire thing from the earring I cut into pieces before in the video. Um, and yeah, I just thread some seed beads onto it, and after that, I cut a piece off the wire and I used my little tool here to create um, a loop, as you can see in a second. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm doing here. I'm creating the loop so I wouldn't hurt myself. Um, yeah. And yeah, the next step is so random, but I needed something that I could bend my wire on to, so um, yeah, I used my facial massager to round my wire and create this cute little ear cup. How cute is it? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I think it's so cute. For the next pair of earrings, I thought it would be so cute to do um, like friendship earrings. So I'm using heart shaped beads with letters on them, uh, as you can see here, as well as some pearls. They're fake pearls, old pearls from an H&M necklace I bought years ago. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking my pliers and my basic earring, as you can say, I guess. Um, I bought them online, and I'm straighten the wire so that um, threading the beads and pearls is easier um, and yeah this is what I'm doing here and yeah for the earrings I thought it would be cute if one earring would say girl like GRL and the next one would say power PWR uh, yeah <laughs> and here I'm using my pliers and bend my wire back again into shape um, and this is what my earring turned out. And for my necklaces I'm using um, not only crimp tubes but also jump rings as well as trigger clasps for my German followers um, Karabiner Haken. And I started um, the same way as I started my daisy ring. I'm using my crimp tube and I'm putting it onto my thread, as you can see here. And then I'm taking my jump ring and I'm threading it also onto my thread. And then I'm using the end of my thread and put it back um, through my crimp tube. And then um, pulling my thread and using my um, pliers and again squeeze the crimp tube and yeah, everything is secure. And for this necklace I'm using very small golden seed beads as well as some bigger, more colorful seed beads and I got these super cute evil eye charms and I thought that would be perfect for summertime. And to finish off my necklace, I'm using a crimp tube again and my... I forgot what this thing is called, so my trigger clasp, <laughs> sorry, my trigger clasp. And I'm going back again with my thread through my uh, crimp tube and I'm just repeating basically the process from the beginning and um, pulling my thread and using my plier squeezing the crimp tube and the necklace is finished. And the next necklace, um, yeah, I just basically repeated everything. So 
I won't um, go into detail here, um, but I thought that um, like for spring vibes, um, a pale green and um, white daisies would be super cute. So this is what I'm doing here. And these are my finished jewelry pieces, my upcycle jewelry pieces, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and um, if you want to enter the giveaway make sure to check out my description box and talk to you soon.